G'day Credence, hope you're doing well mate. Thanks for the comment. So this is a really great question. Um, so uh, do you feel like you need to be good at what you do before you start a business? Have a few years uh, of the trade uh, willing to offer under your belt um, and you also had a bit of a continuance of what do you need to know to start a business? So. Um, I do believe that the foundation of going out and starting your own business is you need to be good at what you do. However, I do believe that many employees, including myself when I used to be an employee, I spent far too much time honing my craft because I believed that I needed to be the best at what I did uh, in order to grow, uh, grow and start a business. Now, in actual fact, what we need to acknowledge is that there are basically two roles that you have in a business, particularly when you're getting started. And there will ultimately become a point in time where you need to make a choice between the two because you very rarely are going to do both of them well. You need to acknowledge that you are an expert technician. You need to be very good at delivering on what you do, but you also need to be an expert business owner. And um, you can learn the fundamentals, but you're going to hone that by having kind of time on the tools, so to speak. Um, by the sounds of it, you're a tradie, and um, the reality is there's only so much you can learn from a textbook. That's why they do an apprenticeship. You need to go out there and get the practical knowledge so then you can actually learn the, the practical skills, get that muscle memory, and, uh, and hone your craft because you're, gonna, you're not going to learn how to uh, build a house by reading a book. Now, the thing that you really need to look at is you need to ask and analyze yourself. Don't ask your boss, um, but you, you need to analyze yourself against your competition and your, your boss will probably lead you astray because they obviously don't want you to leave um, and say, okay, am I, am, am I pretty good at what I do? do have I learned everything that I need to in terms of my trade and my, my technical ability that will allow me to go out and confidently do what I do? Now, do you need to know everything about your trade? No. I actually believe that you're best specializing in a particular area of your market or a particular niche of work and just going deep on that because by doing that, I suspect that most people in their job, they're generalists because most businesses don't specialize. And basically, by going out and doing a specialist business, you're going to accelerate your skills so much faster. One, because you're focusing on just doing that kind of work. But two, it's your business. So you've got a vested interest to be really good at what you do. Now, the second part is learning the skills of being a business owner. If you jump into my bio, and uh, you'll actually be able to get my second book for free. Um, it's called Secrets to Scaling a Seven-Figure Lifestyle Business. I basically reverse engineered my methodology of growing and scaling now multiple seven-figure businesses. I have a business that now has over eight figures in assets, um, and I've helped hundreds of my clients scale seven and eight-figure businesses themselves. And there is a methodology to this. And the big challenge that really good people who are good at what they do struggle with most when they go out into their own business is because they've now inherited all of these extra responsibilities and they have no bloody idea how to do them, right? And what that ultimately ends them doing is they end up dropping the ball on everything. They're not good at anything in their business. So how do we overcome that? Well, you need to make sure that you're getting started the right way. So in the first part of my book, I provide you with a one page business plan. And the aim of the game is for you to sit down and go through that. And it's great to do now, because what that's ultimately going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to say, okay, well, these are the gaps that I need to learn, and hopefully my book can help you with that. And there's plenty of other great books that can assist you. And it'll help you craft that strategy. So you can come up with a philosophy of how you're going to go out and start your business, what you're going to do, and it'll take you through three components. It'll take you through the macro. What's the big picture view? Or what, what, what's happening in the external environment in terms of your market, the ideal customer that you want to chase, the competitors that are operating in that market, and how you plan to get a competitive advantage. Second is the micro. What is your value proposition? What's going to be your signature solution? How do you become the logical best choice in your marketplace so you can thrive in business? And then the third part is the matrix. How do you design a strategy around marketing, sales, delivery, and growth so you can actually have a thriving business, but it's all built on the other two pillars? So if you do that, that's either going to help you refine your strategy and you can say, cool, I'm pretty confident. I'm going to go give this a red hot crack. Uh, or the backup plan is, well, okay, there's some more learning I need to do, but at least you now have focus on the areas that you need to improve. So then you can go and give it a red hot crack. Now, here's the kicker. I felt this myself. I had lots of opportunities uh, earlier in my career to go out into my own business and I didn't because... I didn't have the self-confidence, I didn't think I was ready, and I was concerned about foregoing the security of my salary, 
and the holiday pay and sick leave and all of these other things that I refer to as the golden handcuffs that keep you in employment. And I should have gone into business like five years earlier. And looking back, I wish I did. I really wish I did. I did not learn or advance a lot in that five years that I stayed in employment. In fact, I was a pretty shitty employee, to be fair. And uh, I should have gone out into my own business that five years earlier. I should have backed myself and I should have just given it 100%. There's risks, right? But you pay a big price for certainty and it's arguably the biggest price, uh, the certainty that you pay for the comfortable paycheck and the cushy job where you could be out maybe working really hard over the next 12 months trying to get your business off the ground poppy's trying to attack me what are you doing puppy um there's going to be pigs that try and knock you over um it's going to be it's going to be a wild ride but i guarantee you that if you give it your all you follow the right strategy you learn the right tools um, you're going to advance as a as a tradie and uh you're going to be in a far better position uh, as a result so any other questions let me know in the comments hope this is valuable